In this packet tracer lab, you need to configure both syslog and NTP or network time protocol. This lab consists of a Cisco router and a Cisco switch, as well as a syslog server, NTP server, and PC. Syslog allows us to centralize log messages, as well as store a historical backup of various log messages. Rather than just logging messages to the console of a router or switch or logging it to a limited buffer, we can centralize log messages on a syslog server. Hard drive capacities in servers are much greater than the memory or flash available in routers and switches. So we can collate, centralize, and store log messages on a syslog server. So that's what you're going to configure in this lab. You're also going to make sure that your log messages have the correct time by setting up an NTP server. Network time protocol allows us to ensure that devices throughout our network have the correct time, which is important when you're logging messages. If you have a log message that says that an interface went down, that doesn't really help you if you don't know when that event occurred. Did it happen yesterday? Did it happen a year ago? Did it happen five years ago? It's important that you have timestamps on your log messages. And that's why you need to configure a network time protocol server or NTP server. What you need to firstly do is configure the syslog server to accept syslog messages and then configure router one and switch one to log messages to the syslog server. To test this, create a loopback interface on router one and verify that syslog messages are displayed on the syslog server. Do various tests such as shutting down the loopback interface on the router and then re-enabling the loopback interface and make sure that the syslog messages are displayed on the syslog server. Shut this interface on the switch and then re-enable it. And once again, verify that the syslog messages are shown on the syslog server. Setting up a syslog server is very easy. In Packet Tracer, select your syslog server, go to services, syslog, and enable the syslog server. Once you've configured your syslog server, you need to configure the NTP server. So ensure that NTP is enabled on your server, go to services, NTP, and enable the NTP service. Before you configure your devices to get time from the NTP server, check what the time is on your devices. As an example, on the router, show clock shows us that this router believes that it's the 1st of March 1993. That's obviously incorrect. Also configure router one and switch one to set timestamps in the syslog messages sent to the syslog server. And then configure router one and switch one to get their time from the NTP server. Once you've done that, verify that the clocks are properly set and then shut down the loopback interface and re-enable it on router one and verify that your syslog server is receiving the syslog messages, but in addition, verify that the timestamps on the syslog messages are set correctly. Do the same on the switch, shut it down and no shut this interface and verify that the syslog messages have the correct timestamp applied. It's important for you to know both syslog and NTP for the CCNA exam, as well as for the real world. So make sure that you know how to configure both syslog and NTP by downloading the packet tracer file and configuring this network. So can you complete this lab? Download the packet tracer file and see if you can complete the lab yourself. Otherwise, watch the next video where I complete the lab.